Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a throwback video for you. In Black Ops 2, I am using the Akimbo Attack 45s with the new Beast camo. Of the new camos that came out for Black Ops 2, I like this one the best. I like how the orange complements the blue. That's a color scheme you see a lot of movie posters, and it looked pretty good on my guns. These are my favorite guns in Black Ops 2. To be honest with you, I, I'm very torn between the single Attack 45 with extended mags and the Akimbo. They're both very fun, but I lean a little bit more toward Akimbo just because I've always been an Akimbo weapon fan. All the way back in the day, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You're going to get to see a little bit of theater mode in this commentary so keep your eyes open for it and that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today in this commentary just something that I found important to me in my life that I wanted to share with you and it sounds like simple like five-year-old kind of advice but my advice would be to stay true to what you enjoy and you're like okay well, well what does that mean I'll give you some examples when you're playing a game I would recommend that you use the guns that you want and play the way that you want and you're gonna say well I I'd do that anyway if I didn't want to do it I wouldn't do it and well that's not really true a lot of people are playing with weapons that they know other people use or so-and-so use it and it could be good or I think it could be good or I want to try hard and I want to do this and achieve and perform and that's not always the funnest thing. There are some guns that aren't particularly viable or particularly good or play styles that you know would get you on the MLG circuit that are thoroughly rewarding and fun to play as, hence my Akimbo Tac 45 here. I get other benefits, I mean I learn how to flank really well, but you know when you're playing you shouldn't stress yourself out trying to unlock everything, trying to test this and test that. You should just sit back back and enjoy yourself. That's not necessarily a license to glitch and troll and like, uh, you know, uh, grief people into oblivion, but you'd be surprised how many people get caught up trying to unlock everything and work this and get that achievement and all these other sort of deals, and it kind of carries over to your real life too, and this is where the commentary gets more personal. If you don't know what you want, you'll spend your whole life running around in circles. If you don't know what you enjoy or what really makes you happy, you're going to be wasting your time a lot. A, a simple example of this that I could give is uh, when I grew up in my household, there, were, there was a little little bit of abuse here and there. It's usually more like psychological more than physical. Uh, but it was I, I was raised by my grandparents for a while. My grandfather was this really, like, really hardcore old guy, and he believed that because I was a descendant of him that I was almost like a little clone, and that, every, and that his opinions were like, superior and that everybody else's had to be and of course head of the household biggest meanest guy that's how it went so if he liked vanilla ice cream that meant that is all that you're going to eat and you're going to like it and if you don't like it you're not a true family member and that would put you in a very bad spot very fast raise uh, hit my father that way and then me which was not very good and you know as a little kid you don't know these things and you get told over and over again what you'll like what you'll like and same thing like you want to be a doctor you want to go to school to be a doctor my family wanted me to be a doctor or a lawyer I mean, they might as well have been Asian, like that joke, you gotta be doctor, lawyer, engineer, whatever. Uh, that's really what they wanted me to be, and they wanted me to work at a mega corporation. They didn't want any sort of YouTubing going on, like, doctor, lawyer, get a job at, you know, GE or something like that. And uh, that's kind of what I thought I was going to do, what I thought I, I wanted. But once I got off on my own and I started dating my wife and I got away from that sort of influence and I actually got to make my own decisions, I realized that's not what I wanted at all. That's not the dream I was chasing. I wanted freedom and fun and, you know, a little bit of adventure, but in a moderately secure way. So that's gaming. And it also came with personal taste. Uh, so I'm a guy that likes peanut butter. I like peanut butter related sweets, uh, you know, snacks, sandwiches, whatever. Uh, if you give a choice of ice creams or just anything or, you know, candy, I'm going to go to the peanut butter kind, but I didn't actually know that until a couple of years ago. Like, when I first started dating my wife, I took her to go get uh, some snacks, like doing the, you know, get to know you at a public place kind of thing, and she's like, okay, well, what kind do you want? And I was like, uh, and my first brain says, is like, I better get vanilla or I'm going to get my, my ass kicked, and I was like, wait a second. I actually have choices here. What do I want? And I was kind of gobsmacked. It was like an epiphany going, bah! and my brain, like, what kind, of, what kind of food do I want? Well, I guess I'll just... I'll, I'll take the peanut butter. And this can also apply to YouTubing. This next bit is like the most uh, Cardboard 5 Iron League, Iron League thing I've ever seen. I had to put it in slow motion. The, the plays were so ridiculous. But when you're doing YouTube, a lot of you I know run YouTube channels or gaming or something like this. I should put this in YouTube 101. But my number one advice to all of you starting a channel, they're like, should I be a quick scoper? Should I do tips and tricks? What am I going to do that's going to be popular? Don't try to be popular. Don't try to do the same thing everybody else does because that's making the same mistake as having somebody tell you what is fun. You should do what what you enjoy, chase the dreams that you like, do, play the way that you want to play and show that, and because that has meaning, because people can hear it and feel it in your voice and in your gameplay, which is, oh god, I failed so bad right there, but it was, it was kind of fun to do. 
it will stick and it will catch and it will be more appealing to people than just another quick scoper, than just another tips guy or whatever it is that you plan on doing. And that would be my best advice to give you. Uh, this advice, this little bit of commentary or insight into my life is not like an open ticket to hedonism or that's not really what I'm getting at, but more of a, a question to ask you to sit back and maybe do a little introspection and think about the things that you truly want and the things that you truly want to chase. And you can even do it in simple things in life. You don't have to try everything in the world. Again, not an excuse to not try them, but sometimes it's just okay to do things your way. And that's the point I wanted to get across today. I hope you enjoyed the commentary and a little bit info about me and I hope you also enjoyed the gameplay if you did don't forget to like favorite and subscribe drifter out